American cosmologist, science communicator, and astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson was born on October 5, 1958, in Manhattan, to Sonchita Maria Tyson and Cyril deGrasse Tyson. Tyson grew up in the Castle Hill neighborhood of the Bronx and studied at Riverdale Kingsbridge Academy and later at the Bronx High School of Science. During his days in high school, Tyson was captain of the school wrestling team and the editor-in-chief of the Physical Science Journal and developed an interest in astronomy after he visited the Sky Theater at the Hayden Planetarium where he also took astronomy classes which he described as the most formative period of his life. His childhood obsession with the study of astronomy earned him fame in the astronomy community when at age 15 he began giving lectures on astronomy. This attracted the attention of astronomer Carl Sagan, a faculty member at Cornell University who wanted Tyson to get admission to Cornell for his undergraduate studies. Tyson was invited by Saga to Ithaca, which Tyson later said, I already knew I wanted to become a scientist, but that afternoon I learned from Carl the kind of person I wanted to become. However. Tyson attended Harvard and majored in physics. At what time in his freshman year, he went back to wrestling and writing. He was also good at jazz, ballet, Latin ballroom, and Afro-Caribbean dancing. In 1980, he graduated from physics with an AB degree and got employed at the University of Texas, Austin, where he also obtained an MA degree in astronomy in 1983. Although Tyson was encouraged to consider other careers, after his doctorate career ended at the University of Texas due to the dissolution of his doctoral dissertation committee, he chose to become an astronomy lecturer from 1986 to 1987 at the University of Maryland. By 1988, Tyson attended and graduated from the astronomy program at Columbia University with an MPhil degree in astrophysics and another PhD degree in astrophysics which he obtained in 1991. Tyson got funding for his NASA and ARCS Foundation doctoral research from Professor R. Michael Rich to enable him to attend meetings in Switzerland, Chile, Italy, and South Africa. This was helpful as it led to Tyson's observation of images from the Kalan Tololo Supernova Survey at the Observatory Center in Chile, helping to establish Typla Supernova as standard candles. In his research, Tyson focused on observation in stellar evolution, cosmology, bulges, galactic, astronomy, and stellar formation, and has written quite a number of books on astronomy. Tyson has held positions at Princeton University, American Museum of Natural History, and the University of Maryland. He became a staff scientist at the Hayden Planetarium in 1994 and was promoted to acting director in 1995. At what time, he began writing The Universe, a column for the Natural History magazine. His position became that of director of the planetarium in 1996. Then President George W. Bush appointed Tyson in 2001 as part of the commission as a future of the United States aerospace industry. Tyson also popularized the term Manhattan Hedge in 2002 after he authored a column in the City of Stars magazine. The term described the two days in which the sun in the evening aligned annually with the street grid in Manhattan. Before being awarded the NASA Distinguished Public Service Medal, NASA's highest honor, Tyson served at the President's Commission on Implementation of the United States Exploration Policy. Tyson co-authored the companion series Origins, 14 Billion Years of Cosmic Evolution in 2004 with Donald Goldsmith, and also hosted a four-part Origins series of the PBS Nova series. He again collaborated with Donald as narrator for the 400 years of the telescope documentary in 2009. Tyson has held the vice president, president, and chairman positions in the Planetary Society and was picked as a regular on History Channel's The Universe series. He also launched his own one-hour radio talk show, Star Talk, in 2009, which was co-hosted by comedian Lyne Koplitz. In the course of his career, Tyson broadcast and wrote extensively on his views of spirituality and science, including the perimeter of ignorance and the holy wars. Once, when he was asked if he believed in higher powers, Tyson replied, Every account of a higher power that I have seen described, of all religions that I have seen, includes many statements regarding the benevolence of that power. When I look at the universe and all the ways the universe wants to kill us, 
I find it hard to reconcile that with the statement of benevolence. He has once spoken about his career as a popular world scientist, as a black man, and said of his 1989 interview on a local Fox station about the plasma bust from the sun that I had never before in my life seen an interview with a black person on television for expertise that had nothing to do with being black. And at that point, I realized that one of the last stereotypes that prevailed among people who carry stereotypes is that sort of black people are somehow dumb. Tyson remains an advocate for the expansion of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration's operations, remarking that the most powerful agency on the dreams of a nation is currently underfunded to do what it needs to be doing. This led to a campaign of the space advocates that NASA's budget is doubled to 1% of the federal budget. In 1988, Tyson married Alice Young, a fellow physician he met at the University of Texas physics class and has two children with her. But he has also been accused of sexual misconduct by four women in 2018 who accused Tyson of drugging and raping and inappropriately groping them. It led to the suspending of his Star Talk show pending the results of investigations which Tyson welcomed. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.